You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> Good afternoon from CQ Stadium. Maryland opens the season with a 50-7 win over UConn. And it uh, scores a really indicative of how this game went. I'm Wayne, that's Mason. Bruce will be with us in a moment. Mason, what you make of the game today? Yeah, I mean, it's what you expect. Uh, not a great UConn team. Terps came out, took care of business. Billy Edwards put up some big numbers. Ty Felton with a massive day to start it off. But football is back here in College Park and we'll, we're back here on turf talk. And Philly, 311 yards. You're talking about Ty Felton, 178 yards. Bruce is gonna comment on what he thought of both of those, but I wanna get your take on super freshman Nolan Ray. Yeah, there was a lot of hype around Nolan Ray. We shouted him out on the podcast uh, yesterday in our preview episode. And look, he looks like he's the real deal. He looks like Lorenzo Harrison before uh, he, he got hit with that injury bug at the beginning of the DJ Durkin era. He's fast, he's shifty. You saw what they can do with Roman Hemby and Nolan Ray split out. And the Terps, I mean, they got some weapons on offense, but next week the real season starts. Michigan State comes in, it's 3.30. It's come on out, it should be a good one. The offensive line did enough, didn't embarrass themselves. Defense, look, shut out UConn for most of the game. There was a point where Maryland had 300 yards, UConn had about 100. UConn's not very good, but the Maryland defense did stand up. Who popped for you on that defensive unit? Yeah, I think really nobody popped out today. I thought guys just took care of business. Early in the season, you I mean, early in the game, you saw some of those early season uh, no film moments from this defense against the zone run where they were getting shifted up field and letting up some five plus yard runs. But as it went on, you just saw the Terps just had more strength up front. When LeVon Johnson got out there and they got deeper into the rotation, there wasn't much of a fall off from Maryland until late in the game. That's what you really have to look for in these matches where you know you just outclassed the other team. Brendan Miller rocking the number one jersey, had a, a beautiful interception. He actually had the first few tackles for the defense. Ruben Hippolyte had an interception on a, a tip ball drill on the other sideline to maintain that shutout for the moment. Uh, Bruce is going to join us here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, Billy Edwards was spectacular. You know, a Billy guy, what'd you make out of the Billy Edwards performance today? All right, Wayne and Mason up here in the studio. What a day for Billy Edwards, as you asked. Unbelievable. This kid hit everybody over the middle. He hit him on the run. He passed on the run. He was special. He was, I'm telling you, they, I didn't see his quarterback rating yet, but it has to be up to 95% flawless He because he didn't do hardly anything wrong. 20 for 27 for 311 yards. 11.5 average, two TDs. His favorite receiver was uh, Ty Felton that we knew it would be, along with Caden Prather. Ty Felton, seven for 178. And Billy Edwards, protect him. I was screaming about letting him run. He got a, took a cheap shot, almost got concussed. On those slide plays, what do you see and what's it feel like when the contact comes? Yeah, I'll be honest. I think in a game that was my first time ever sliding, um, you know, a lot to learn from. I don't, I don't think that'll be my last. Um, I feel like I'm more of, an, a, of a downhill aggressive runner, but that'll be one, you know, I got to learn. Um, you know, obviously just with the, the nature of my position now, I'm, you know, hoping to play in 12, 13, 14, 15 games. I'm not a backup coming in, so I got to – I got to do a better job protecting myself. You can't uh, let that happen because this kid will carry this team. You know, we knew he was a good runner, but he must have really, really worked on his game, and he was special. And the other quarterbacks, MJ Harris, of course, got hurt, and Cam Edge came in the end. He looked pretty sharp, full for six, but Billy Edwards established himself today as the starting quarterback as the man, and we have ourselves a thrower. Back to you, Wayne. Absolutely agree there. Now, we talked about Nolan Ray before. You certainly have some thoughts about the speed and shiftiness that he brings in. 
We heard a lot about Nolan Ray today, and he proved it with a big touchdown run in the first half. He had a total of six runs for 60 yards, also called a pass, but Nolan Ray was something, and Roman Henby, good, solid game. The entire offense was, Wayne, this was a great day to start the season, and I can't wait for Michigan State next week. Back to the field with Wayne and Mason. All right, back here on the field with Mason as we go to break. We want to thank Viner Forgates, as always, your hometown IT consultants. If you have a project, whether it's the D.C. area or anywhere in this great country, give Viner Forgates a call. We can help you out. In fact, Mason flew in here from Houston to be here today. Uh, he's part of our nationwide tech coverage, as long as our Terrapin coverage. Also, thanks to the big dog himself as he continues to sponsor uh, these post-game shows, pre-game shows, you can't do it without Rick Jacklich. We'll be back here on the field in a moment. As the band starts up behind us, uh, you saw video of the first snap from Billy Edwards, from MJ Morris, and from Cam Edge. Uh, you know, we've been big Billy fans. Mesa really likes Cam Edge. It was good to see everybody play today. Can you take anything away from what Michigan State did the other night and what Maryland UConn did as far as predicting a season? Well, I think they're perfect examples of what you can take away. Michigan State did not look good last night, 16 total points gets an FAU program that really has not done well since Lane Kiffin was there. Uh, they get a safety early that kind of got them jump started. And then you see dominance out here. And what we were talking about kind of before this is what Maryland can take away from this. I think Billy uh, obviously is a big positive for the Terps. The offensive line looks good enough, but not really a test game. So you don't have a negative feeling come out of it, but you know Locks and this crew is going to say you can't really take that much positive. This is a game you expect to win. And that's a big stepping stone for this program. We've been there for a couple years, but to just to expect to win, expect dominance, that's what Loxie has brought to this program. And yeah, we'll wrap this up together. 50 points, another non-conference opener, another big show offensively and defensively. And you can't leave out Jack House and the field goal kicking and the new punter who transferred from Notre Dame, number 34, was also spectacular. So that'll wrap it us. Wrap it up for us here at CQ Stadium. We will see you on the podcast this week as Mason hosts that. The Young Terps rolls on for another season. And we'll be back here after Michigan State next Saturday. Good afternoon from CQ Stadium.